Okay, today we're gonna talk about a corroded battery. I'm gonna break this video up into three chapters. First, why it happens, two, how to clean it, and three, how to prevent it from coming back. Now let's jump into it. Okay, I'm doing my best to get the right camera angle here. So you notice this corrosion here. What happens is, is over time, you have a little bit of hydrogen that will seep out between the battery and the posts. And as that hydrogen meets the air and some other debris or components, it creates this buildup. And then what, what happens with this corrosion is, is it also blocks the ability for the battery to transmit the, the correct amount of uh, power through, through the, uh, uh, the wires, especially if it's built up in between. Right, see, and here's the, the positive and uh, also prevents the battery from being recharged properly, which is another another big issue. So I've got gloves on, and as you should if you're doing this, this is very easy. There are multiple ways to do it though, so let's talk about them. First thing is, is you can take a brush and you can start scraping it like this, and you can get, get it off with a the brush. But there's an easier way to do that, so we'll take the next step. So part two is we can use baking soda. You can use a cup or I've got this old painter's tray and I happen to have an industrial size bag of baking soda. I'm just going to put a little bit in here. Okay, we will stir it up. And then if I were to pour it, you can see it bubbling up. Maybe you can hear it. You can see that actively working right there. Okay, now you, there's nothing wrong with using baking soda. And here's the, the other method that I like. The way I like to do it is take a pot of boiling water and it just melts it away. What you also want to do is, is when you're done with this, because some of that uh, corrosion will make its way down into the engine compartment, maybe lay on hoses or wires. You wanna take a hose and just rinse everything around it completely to make sure that you don't have any of that left. Now that that's clean, you could stop, but I'm concerned that we could still have some corrosion inside there or wedged between the bottom of the post and you know the, the, uh, the terminal and also the, uh, the battery itself. So we're gonna take this off and make sure it's all cleaned up. The socket should be about the same size for both. And you wanna take the negative off first and the positive off second. And keep in mind when you do this, you're going to, uh, you know, potentially have to reset some things inside your, on your dashboard, maybe the clock, you know, those kinds of things. You've seen that before. Okay, that's that one's off. Let's get the positive off now. And you see this is loose. I loosened it because I'm probably taking this battery off when we're done. But, all right, this doesn't look too bad, but we can go in here and scrape a little bit. Another thing you can do is you can use um, some of the uh, emery cloth paper. And by the way, there's a tool that's made for this that I don't have because I don't need to do this too often, but there's a, a sanding tool and I'll link to it down in the description that's made specifically for, um, it's got this little round hole with with, with uh, either sandpaper or uh, wire, wire brush that will do this for you. And then there's also one that get attachment that gets in, put in there for you too. And you also can use a Dremel, right? So. Let's say here, we can use a Dremel on this, if you happen to have this. All cleaned out. Okay. I hope I got it all on camera. Anyway, it's nice and shiny in there, okay? So now, before you put it back, you've got 
you want to make sure that this doesn't continue to happen right so um, let me just dry it off All right. okay there we go so you want to you want to put um, some grease and some people like to put Vaseline which I don't like to do because Vaseline seems to melt away a little bit too soon for me you can, so you can put regular grease and I would put it down here which you're gonna watch me do and also on the top after you've put this back but what I'm gonna use is the dielectric grease that's made for electrical connections because not only will that prevent the air from interacting but it's gonna also be a good conductor of electricity so I'm doing that down here both sides Sorry if I'm blocking your view. Okay. Then we can put these back in reverse order. So in this case, positive first. Let me uh, get this on here, tighten it up. go as tight as you can without breaking it and then the negative so this doesn't take us very long right okay so now you can see the grease squeezed out on the bottom that's what we like and I'm gonna put a little bit more on the top just load it up there and on this one okay you can glob it on as much as you want and then you're set can you keep, please give me that thumbs up because I know this is a little bit helpful for you especially if you've never done this before or maybe you like my method a little bit different than the other ones you've heard I appreciate you watching I'm also gonna do another video on how to replace your battery and uh, in the case maybe this one I have to check the voltage after we let it recharge and if it's not uh, good enough to to start the battery uh, safely and effectively then I'm gonna replace it and I'll do a video on how to change it yourself thanks for watching everyone and I hope you have a great day